There's a crab trying to go in the trap right now. Dude, there could be something good in there. Oh my god. We are at the spot right now. We got our pumpkin right here. And this is where we're gonna be doing a trap. This is a different location, so I'm not sure what's here. I see a lot of, what is that? What is that? What? Action. You don't see that? No, what? Look at all these things. What the heck, is that mullet? Whoa. What is that? It's gotta be all mullet. It's mullet. Yeah, it's all mullet. Well, that's a good sign. We got some mullet, a bunch of oh mullet gosh, all look. out there. Anyways, this is a new location. We've never done a fish trap or anything here. We're gonna cut this fish trap, make it, put some bait in it and set it out and see what we can catch. I mean, we can catch shrimp, we can catch fish, we can catch an eel, we can catch mullet, have a good chance to catch a mullet. So like I said, we're gonna cut this pumpkin open, make a trap out of it and put it in the water. You can kind of see what I'm aiming for right now. Just a little hole. So we got our pumpkin all carved out and basically I just made a big hole in the front and the pumpkin is so thick that you can do layer by layer. So the inside of it is very, it's like a probably an inch hole and the outside's like a probably three inch hole. So they'll be able to go in because it's a big opening and then they'll get stuck. They won't know their way around and then the whole inside's very small so they won't be able to get out. So now all we have left to do is put some bait in there, set it in the water and see if we can catch something. And then again, guys, I'm pretty confident with fish traps, but this is a pumpkin. So I don't know how they're going to react to it. I don't know if they're going to be scared of it or something. You never know. So it's an experiment for you and me and we're just going to try it out and see if it works. So now we're going to plant our pumpkin fish trap and you just gotta find a good area right now. There's a lot of waves and stuff, so we gotta find an area that has like structure and it won't move a lot. So I'm thinking like under these mangroves. Do this thing float? No, perfect. It doesn't float. That's good. Yeah, something like that. Probably maybe further. As long as the what's it called on the hold underwater, then we're good. Yeah, just make sure it's filled up with the water completely. Like that's good. Now I think it's oh, gonna be. That's fine. All right, so we got the pumpkin trap all set up. It's literally perfect. The hole is underwater. You come over here, you can see that. And we're gonna give that about 20, 30 minutes, maybe a little longer just because we've never done this before and see how it works. I mean, what do you think, Davis? I don't know, man. Maybe they'll like this, you know, like pumpkin flavored bait. <laughs> we got our trap set right there. I got our shrimp. I'm gonna stuff the shrimp in the trap so it can't like get out or anything. And then the fish will smell it. Hopefully they come in the truck. Wow, this is crazy. Keep it down in there. Perfect. Oh, oh stay. Whoa, what was that? There was a fish. <gasps> I see it. No. It's fish. Yeah, it's fish. There's <laughs> a mangrove snapper. He's already here. Oh my gosh. I there think is, I... Yeah, no, there's a snapper. There's oh, a snapper. Look, oh my right God. There. Should we push it more up here? They're all around. There's mangrove snapper all around. They're literally swimming everywhere. Oh my gosh. There's a mangrove snapper right here. He's trying to eat. He's trying to get in it? Yes, he's trying to get in, I swear. You swear? No, he's right there. Oh my gosh, he is. He's about to go in. He's about to go in. He's about what? to go in. What? He's about to go in the trap. They can see it. They, <laughs> can you see it on camera? Yes, they can see it. It's, that start, it stays underwater. All right. It. Just let it float just like that. Oh my That's gosh, it's it. like bobbing. Guys, there's a crab trying to go in the trap right now. What? Is he in? Dude, he's trying to get in. He's trying to get in the trap. Back away, give it about five minutes. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Give that about 30, 45 minutes and I think we'll get something. All right guys, we just got back. We're gonna check the trap and see if we caught anything. It's moved a little. So. What is that? Dude, White. It's a puffer fish, all puffed up. Oh my gosh. It's all puffed up. And this thing's heavy. I knew those fish were like that trap, dude. Dude. All right, we gotta cut the top off. We gotta cut the top off. I can't see anything in there. Yeah, it's no so clue. dark. The pump fish is in there. The pump fish. All right. Where's that knife? All right, we got the knife. We gotta cut this top off ASAP. Dude, there could be something good in there. I guarantee that crab's in there for me. You think so? I wouldn't doubt it. 
Make sure nothing escapes. No. Like a crab, shrimp, anything It's just a bunch like of uh, seeds spilling out right now. <laughs> Almost there, dude. This pumpkin is thick. Dude, fish love this thing because it looks like actual structure. It's not like, you know? Yeah. It's not like a... And it's natural. Yeah, that's plant. the thing. Seems stupid, but it's really not. All right, yeah. I see fish in here. Oh, it's the same fish we saw swimming around it, literally. Yeah. It's the exact it's same, same yeah, ones. Mangrove snapper, mangrove snapper, and a puffer fish. We did not see this guy. He snuck in when we weren't looking for sure. And I'm very surprised that crab's not in here. Yeah, I was about to say. Maybe he just couldn't fit through the hole, honestly. That's probably what it was. He was pretty big. But dude, this, I cannot believe this worked. That is insane. I'm so out of breath. Where's that water? We gotta get these fish. We'll examine them. But it's so sick, they're just chilling in a pumpkin. I feel like they're happy. We ended up catching three fish. In 30 minutes, that's pretty good, especially in a pumpkin. I mean, if you ask me, that's pretty good. And we got a puffer fish and two mangrove snapper, it looks like. I guarantee you guys, I said it to Davis when we were waiting, I was like, Davis, if we get, if we left this pumpkin in there for like a day, dude, we would have like crabs, oh, shrimp, yeah. all types of fish, like to where the pumpkin couldn't even be filled more. So this was 30 minutes and we caught three fish in a pumpkin. So. Right here's the puffer fish. He's pretty cool. I don't want him to puff up because it's not good for them. So I'm gonna take him over here. And guys, we actually have one of these in our fish tank. We always catch these. There's so many of them in Jupiter, Florida. You ready? Oh, he's got some air in him. There he goes. Getting the air out, getting the air out. And he is good. <laughs> Look at him. And he's gone. Look, see the air from out. That's funny. <laughs> Next is this is not a mangrove snapper. This is, I think, what is this? A lane snapper, yeah, lane it is. snapper. This is a different species of snapper. This is a lane and then this is a mangrove and I'll show you the difference on them. It kind of, this one has more yellow. Come here, bud. Oh my gosh, this guy is fast. Ow, he bit me. Are you I, serious? I swear to you, he bit me. What's wrong with this guy? He doesn't like being in the pumpkin. Look, he's got pumpkin in his mouth. Oh, I'm he's been eating you. pumpkin. They've been eating pumpkin. Wait, wait. What's going on right Open now? Open your mouth. Give me it. Give me it. Yeah, that's literally in his mouth. It's in his mouth. Can't get it out. He ate it? Yeah, he ate the pumpkin. But look, so this is the difference between these two fish. And these are very, very cool fish. Look at the colors on these things. This one has like a blue stripe on his eye. So does this one, but it has more yellow. This one has more red. Look at that. <laughs> He wants to go back to the pumpkin. Well, he's coming to my shoe. Oh, you oh, can't see them because they're camo. <laughs> nah. Oh, hey, the pumpkin's still in his mouth. I swear to you, he just... Yeah, he, he got a little piece. I think he ate it. <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying, I know you guys love the diving videos, and like, this is where we live. This is literally five minutes from where we live, and there's so much fish and stuff around here. There's coral reef shrimp, there's starfish, there's snook, there's jack, there's eels, there's every saltwater fish that you can pretty much name lives in Jupiter, Florida. And guys, October 31st in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, there's gonna be a boat show. I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be at the Sea Chaser table. So if you guys live in the Florida area and you wanna come meet me, I'm gonna be there with a bunch of people. Come meet me, I'll be there pretty much all day. For some of you that don't know, this is called the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. It's a huge event, um, they have one in Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, and it's basically new boats coming out and new products and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be there, Sea Chaser Stand, come meet me, it's gonna be awesome. So I know a lot of you think this pumpkin fish trap is kinda dumb or not really like a real fish trap. But the reality of it, this is actually way better than the plastic bins we use because it is more natural. This is a vegetable, it's a natural thing. Fish use it as structure just like is a log that's sitting in the water that has a hole in it or something, fish go in it. The same thing goes for this. When they see a, like, a little hole and there's bait in there, as you guys saw, the mangrove snapper trying to get in and the crab, it's the same exact thing. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below your favorite part of the video, and also be sure to turn on your post notifications so you do not miss out on any of the crazy uploads we upload. On this channel we do diving, fish traps, aquariums, feedings, pretty much everything, tours, you name it, we do it. And yeah, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. See you! <laughs>